Hello, hello, hello. It's Brainy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. If you are new here, then I would like to welcome you. And if you're returning, I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you for consistently rocking with your girl. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up my new Moterm A7 pocket size planner for, um, I'll be using it for the months of December and January for sure. And then I'm going to decide if I'm going to use it past that, but for sure, December and January. So that's what I'll be setting up today. So if you're interested in seeing my setup, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, great. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this video today. If you do, please be sure to smash that like button and then also hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to tap on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. So like I said, I'm gonna be setting up my new pocket planner. This planner that I did receive from, well, I is a Moterm brand planner, but I did, purchase it from someone on Facebook in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in. So it is not a brand new planner. However, it is very, very, very gently used and it is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm excited. As you know, this has been my baby for quite some time now. And this is also a Moterm in the ostrich pattern. Oh, first of all, y'all, I was yesterday years old when I found out that you can use an Ollie clip as a pen loop. So yeah, definitely going to be doing that in the new one. Um, so this has been fantastic. I absolutely love it, but I felt like for this season, it is time for a change. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one to the side that December is in here. So I'll have to pull it out and then transfer it into here, but I'm going to just kind of put it to the side for now. So in this one, of course you have your box and I don't remember if all this stuff came here. I've purchased so many books that I'll just kind of mix it all up. This dust bag. And then this one is this beautiful white crock. Ah! Gorgeous with the matching fly leaf. And it is also, sorry about the crinkling sound. I know that's annoying. Hmm. How do you open it? Oh, there it is. And I'm totally just noticing that this has a, an extra pin loop on it. So. I don't have to use my Ollie Block hack, but if anybody knows somebody that works at Ollie Block, tell them thank you for the exceptional advertising that I saw yesterday on Instagram because that's how I found out. So this has, again, the fly leaf here. I believe these are 30 millimeter rings because they look extra chunky. Um, you have your pockets on the side, the zipper, um, another like secretarial pocket, then your huge pocket in the back, which for me is absolutely essential because I do use this as a wallet. There's another pin loop here, more card slots, and then another secretarial pocket in the back. And then of course it has two buttons, which is phenomenal because my ostrich got a little chunky. And so at some point it was hard, especially when I put that second pin in, it was difficult to, um, to snap close sometimes. So I'm happy that this one has the two holes, so hopefully it'll make it easier to, to close up when if it gets a little chunky. So I usually keep my fly leaf towards the front because I like to put the cars in here that I use the most often. And then this pocket, I may be able to even use some deco because I don't really carry that many cars with me and the rest of them I can kind of slide back here. So I might actually come and figure out some deco to put in this front part because I never get to do that. Well, haven't gotten to do that because the ostrich didn't have very many pockets. So, all right, so first I have, um, let's see, where do I wanna start? So I decided to go with this whole like kind of cozy vibes theme. So I made this dashboard, um, vellum dashboard on Canva and I really like this picture. So I kind of pair these two up. So I think, oh, you know what I forgot to do, friends? I forgot to slice my pages. So unfortunately, you're gonna see me doing that on camera. 
Now, the excellent thing about these little cuts, if you don't know, is that it makes the pages easier to come in or to, you know, pull out. So if I wanted to switch things around, it's easier instead of pulling on the ring mechanism over and over and over again, because I do believe that if you continue to pull, 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 that does mess up over time. So, and then it also makes the pages a little bit easier to, you know, just kind of snap in place. So yeah, I think we're going to go with, I'm going to take this out because this is in my way. So we're going to go with the Cozy Vibes for your for my cover because that's cute. And then I'm going to pull out, I forgot I had my name in here. And this other one. So maybe, maybe I'll put the name in the front again. You need to know who this belongs to in case you find it. All right, so we'll put that in there first. Then I have this pocket, which I like to have up front. Last time I had this girl in here, but I think I have a new girl that I can slide in. And I don't need this anymore because it has another pin loop. So this is the marker, my liner that I've been carrying around with me lately because I do like to highlight my pages sometimes so i've been carrying this one around to highlight important things so um i'm gonna go ahead and just put this to the side so i can oh actually you know what nope i'll just stick it in so that i don't lose it there's that perfect and i really like this soft gray color and this i love it says outbox but I don't really use it as an outbox. I use just, really just use it to hold my post-it notes on. <laughs> um, I like that it's easier to find though because it has the bottom tab, so it makes it easier to find. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in this One Minute Habits from Cloth and Paper because even though I don't utilize it as much as I should, I do still really enjoy having it. And then I also purchased well, this is a 2022, so I don't really need that yet. But I might stick it in there. And you will see why in a moment. Yeah, so I might go ahead and stick that in there anyway. Okay, so there is the one minute habits. And then I also created on Canva a self care routine which I think I might make this a new item in my shop. I'm still kind of thinking about it. Um, but this is just on like a cardstock and yeah, it's a nice self-care routine. It's a little, um, I guess, sort of, well, I think it could be used for, for lots of people. <laughs> And it's not in really any specific order. It's just kind of some things that I think are really good to do, especially um, first thing in the morning. So, or, you know, just throughout the day in general. So I'm thinking about adding this in. And you know what? I might actually put this in front because I'm more likely to pay attention to that than the one minute habits. All right. And then following that, this is where the 2022 will go because I do have the 2022 year re overview insert that I want to put in because it'll literally be January in like five seconds. So I'm going to just take this here. I don't know why that's punched differently. Interesting. Pop this on there. It's very interesting. All right. And then I will put these in here. I don't like that. I don't like this tab because it's all wonky. My super awesome friend Kia gave me some new tabs, and it's like that uh, holographic. Um, Design, so I'm going to use this one. 
also punched it a little bit differently. I think they're even a little smaller, but that's okay. I'll make it work. It looks good. All right, and then the year overview pages are here. And then I want some deco. So I have a couple more things that I created on Canva. Oh, snap, drop the scissors. have plans on doing all these like really pretty scenes with vellum and all the, and it just did not cooperate this time but I wanted everything to just kind of look warm and snuggly because that's how I always feel during this season so we're gonna go with this one because I love the blanket all right and then you know what, let's put in two here All right, and then I'm gonna put in another, I got these all mixed up. So I think this may be, I need to cut these. So I'm gonna keep doing that. So then this will get me ready for my monthly section. And we only have like two days left in November, but I need those two days. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put those in just because I need them. Obviously, because it's still, well, you don't know, but today is November 29th, so I need the 29th and the 30th, so I know about my life for the next couple days. So there are my December, and as you can see, I've already started writing in here, and I even um, use post-it notes for things that I'm like, ah, I think I'm going to do that, but I don't really know for sure, and that just kind of helps me keep track and then not have to scratch anything out when I'm planning because that drives me crazy so all right so I have December in and I still absolutely love these dailies and they are from any plans and printables so I absolutely love them still oops that's wrong this way and I'm so happy that I purchased them the uh, the 2022 ones are out now so if you have not checked those out, you can definitely get them. I think the bundle is six months. So I went ahead and just um, purchased that. It's not, you know, very expensive. And then you literally just print it at home. There's printing directions on there. So, you know, the most time consuming thing to do, I think is probably the cutting. And it's a little bit of a challenge when you first try it, but after a while, it just becomes, it becomes a lot easier. So there's the rest of December. I would like to put in another item of decor with a little clip for there. Oh, you know what? We'll put this in front. So I know this is January coming up. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to separate that. I'll leave this one for, yeah, I'll leave this one for my notes, my notes pages. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to tell you. This um, cute little dashboard is actually a printable from Posh Papery. Um, it's a shop on Etsy. Etsy. I did purchase that. So I will leave that um, shop name in the description box below. But yeah, I did purchase that because I thought it was super cute. So... Then I'm going to add in January. I 
And I apologize again for not having these pre-cut. I totally dropped the ball on that. But for some of you, this may be a new trick or technique. So I guess it kind of works out. So these are my January pages. And I do like to pull them apart just a little bit because when you cut them, it gets them a little stuck together. Too much paper, trying to hurry up. <laughs> And there is January, January, and then in the very back, I do like to add a couple pages of notes. So I will put this last tab here, and then. Some like blank note paper. All right, we're gonna add this back here because it's cute. I'm assuming this is like the little page lifter thing. Put that back there now. Um, and then here. I guess they do can kind of fit two stickers in here. Scoot over pin loop. I don't know. I may or may not keep those in there. You can at least mostly see what they are, so it'll be kind of easy to flip through. Yeah, I may or may not keep those in there. We'll decide later. Um, I have been carrying around this handy dandy pair of tweezers though, because when you have nail like these, I, these are my nails, but I get the dip powder put on there, so it makes it like freakishly hard. That's not gonna fit this time. To um. Get the stickers off <laughs> so i had to try to find a way to be able to get the stickers off of the sheets without driving myself crazy so i put those little tweezers in there and that has been very helpful to me here is the pin that i carry because my white one broke i'm still really in my feelings about that and then i usually keep more stickers and money and cars and all that stuff back there in the back but i'll get all that sorted out off camera obviously in this pocket i don't know hmm. i don't really know Definitely always got to have coffee first. <laughs> All right, so we can put really that one there. And then I'm going to put this one here. And actually. and put that there there we go because i'm literally going to be pulling those pages out after tomorrow so all right and then yeah i think this pocket maybe i'll just put it here for now and then i can kind of move it around as needed all right 
Okay, and then the only other thing I just remembered that I have All right, so then again, my super awesome friend Kia gave me this super cute girl. Does she fit? Ha 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 ha. She does, so we'll just leave her there. I just like putting these little die cuts in the pockets. I think it makes them so cute. And it keeps them um, protected from just, you know, everything that goes on in your planners because this is my wallet so I literally carry it all day every day everywhere I go and um yeah so that's super cute okay um but now I kind of want it up towards the front because it's so cute okay yes all right so there we go for now you go oh <laughs> can't cut those all right so here we go our final um i guess kind of flip through we have the fly leaf here i don't know if i want this up here or, mm, i don't know we'll see um then cover page little pocket put that around Your overview from cloth and paper, dashboards that I made the couple days of November. Remember, the printables are from Annie Plans Printables. Um, I'm not sure where Kia got this from, but she sent it to me and I absolutely love it. Another Canva. This is from cloth and paper. Oh, I gotta find the January one to add. But this, this is from cloth and paper. The December printables from Annie Plans. I have a divider here. Oh, wait, that goes there. <laughs> so we have to do a flip through. Divider here for January. It's a cute little January cover. Then you have your January pages. And then my note section and stickers in the back. And that is it. Let's see how it closes. Oh, yay, and I can still, oh, snap, I can still use the second one. There's plenty of space. Oh, I like this. So this one must be a larger size than um, than this one because, like I said, this one was, it started to get very difficult to close, and I think I actually have a little bit more in here than I had in that one. So, oh, I forgot my last little thing, my Ollie block that I was going to use. Now I don't have to use, but it is still this really pretty like snow leopard. So now I'll just put it up front for deco since it doesn't have to be a pin loop anymore. So anyway, that is it for this. I hope you enjoyed this setup. Please, 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 again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I would love to hear from you. I enjoy reading all of your comments and um you know, answering all of the questions that you may have. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you have not already done so. And be sure to share, 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 share. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.